best bakery award goes to Stephanie Hart, Brown Sugar Bakery, Chicago, Illinois. Thank you so much for this. I'd like to thank my grandmother for giving me the inspiration and the memories of wonderful cakes. That desire is what sparked me to want to start Brown Sugar Bakery. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Stephanie Hart, Brown Sugar Bakery. Congratulations, darling. Well, that's Stephanie Hart uh, receiving the Steve Harvey Neighborhood Award for Best Bakery. Well, now she's back looking to take her business to the next level. Stephanie, how, how's the bakery doing since winning that award? Steve, amazing. It has been an amazing journey. We've got people coming from all over the world, and I do mean all over the world, that want to just taste our desserts, but they also want to take pictures and be part of the brown sugar experience. Also, the Food Network saw the show, and I got an opportunity to do a Food Network show called uh, The Great American Holiday Bake Off. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the most exciting things is we were contacted by Navy Pier. The Navy Pier in Chicago is doing a major rehab to include Chicago businesses. So there's a better representation of Chicago and they want the bakery at the pier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got to figure out how, you know, to, to make that kind of move. What's some of the hurdles you're facing? You say you got to figure it out. Well, the biggest uh, hurdle is that we've been launched into like a whole nother level of business. We're dealing with first class companies, which means we've got to become first class. And I'm really still am a mom and pop. The peer sent us the lease. It's 100 pages long. Uh, the lease I have now, three pages. It took a friend to read that lease to me. And uh, one of the big things is my insecurity around not graduating high school is really starting to bother me now because I want to take this far and we can. Okay, first of all, l listen to me. The 100-page the document, you need help with that. See, a 100-page document is a weakness to me. It ain't just to you. You got to get a real estate attorney that knows how to read the 100-page document. Don't get this to your friend. You're going to end up signing something that you or they know nothing about. So that's what I was saying about when you know your weaknesses, you got to form partnerships. And partnerships don't mean giving them a piece of the business, but you got to get some expertise. And that's going to cost a little bit to get this expertise, but that expertise saves you hundreds of thousands of dollars in losses. Also, let me stop you with something. You're starting to wonder if your lack of education is starting to get in the way. Look how far you done got right now. Don't let your past hold you to your future. It can't do that. So that's, that's very important that I want you to get that out the way. Now, we got someone here who's been in Stephanie's shoes before, uh, taking her small bakery big time. Uh, please welcome Erin McKenna of the wildly successful Bakery NYC. Erin, <laughs> what can Stephanie do to take a business to the next level? The first thing I would say is kind of what you were talking about, where you don't have the experience, just hire someone. When I felt like I was getting in over my head, I brought someone in to help me, like leases that are too long or whatnot. So that's one really important thing. There, you're surrounded by people who want to help you and who are talented. Second, if you know, as you're growing a business, money can be tight, and I know that. So something you might want to consider to those who are considering coming on as advisors is offering just a little bit of sweat equity for their time. And the people who will consider it will consider it time well spent. And then finally, success is all about confidence. And you just got to go in and find that magic spark that is Brown Sugar Bakery that has people banging on the, down the doors, taking selfies with you. It's not by accident. You're extremely special and everyone has that in them. So find that, bring it to the surface and bring that to meetings with investors or, or whatnot. And I guarantee you, people are gonna be flocking to you. They're gonna be throwing money at you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that this advice can help you in your growth? Absolutely, absolutely. I definitely need to bring on investors. That was a great point about 
you know, offering them some a small piece of the company, and I'm willing to share. Yeah. Small piece, itty bitty. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to give them a And punch. then also, uh, thank you, because you're right. This started with my grandmother, and it's not about a certificate or something like that. Um, don't, don't let nobody tell you that. Take what the education you got that your grandmother taught you and turn that into millions of dollars. And the rest of you that had these great gifts that you're sitting on and not doing nothing with it, you better, you better go do it. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you very much, darling. And good luck. We'll be right back, everybody.